Hey guys, so today I have this Ariana Grande inspired look from her music video Problem and I'm using mostly drugstore makeup so that's even more awesome. Uh, so yeah, I just really really love the look and this is kind of my recreation of it so let's go ahead and get started. Oh hey guys, this is me with no makeup and I pulled my hair back in an Ariana Grande inspired kind of hairdo of course. So I'm going to start with some moisturizer and I've already applied this along with my sunscreen because you gotta protect y'all's skin and then I also like to prep my lips for lipstick at the end of the look so this is just some baby lips lip balm so I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna take my primer and I'm gonna put this all over my face because this is what's gonna help keep your makeup lasting all day it's just a nice primer for your face this will keep your foundation in place and everything else so moving on to the foundation I'm gonna use this is from Makeup Forever this is the HD high definition foundation. That's what HD means. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to apply this with my squeegee. Uh, I actually call it my squeegee. It's a little sponge. It's actually the beauty blender, but it's the knockoff version that I got from Walgreens. So that's awesome because it's more affordable. Then I'm going to grab some concealer and apply that to more of the center parts of my face and just any problem areas that I have. And then I'm going to take my sponge again or beauty blender knockoff. <laughs> And after that, I'm gonna apply my powder. This is the one that I've been using lately. And I really love this because it doesn't make your foundation look cakey at all. It just looks like your skin. So that's really nice. And it's drugstore Maybelline, what up? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just take my bronzer. I'm patting. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take my bronzer. And a lot of this look I think is more contouring. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chisel out my cheekbone and go up to my temple and just more concentrate on kind of the sides of your face and then I'm also going to bring the bronzer down a little bit onto my neck too. I think that does kind of help to kind of go, you know, like make a face like maybe not like that. Some people do the that thing. Uh, <laughs> whatever works for you. So after making goofy fish faces and blending down onto my neck, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blush that I got from CoverGirl, and this is in classic pink. And I'm just gonna apply this really lightly onto my cheeks, really lightly. I usually like to use blush a little bit more than this, but I noticed in her look, it doesn't really look like she's got very much on. So I'm gonna apply that lightly. And then I'm gonna grab my highlight, and this is from Stila. I love this so much because it creates more of like a glowing, dewy look on your skin which is really pretty so I'm going to apply this more to my t-zone and also just right under my eyes my cupid's bow and yeah I'm going to grab my spat my sponge good grief I can't talk today so that's awesome after that I'm going to grab my eyebrow cake powder this is from NYX cosmetics and I like this kit because it comes with a mini brush that you can brush your brows like in shape with and it comes with another brush where you can apply the color. They have two different colors and they also include a wax which is awesome. I think that's under five dollars too so check it out. Alright so now I'm just going to take some wax on my finger and this will help hold the shape of the brow and also hold the color too because I just added a little bit of color. I'm going to take my brush again, my little baby mini eyebrow brush. <laughs> it's a baby brush. Um, just brush those back again and I've noticed sometimes when I use this wax and just apply it with my finger um, I'll create like a little bit of a shine wherever I put that wax um, like on my skin just right above or right below so I like to go back in with a brush and some of my powder that I used on my face earlier and just kind of go over those spots because I don't want it to look like I just gunked up my eyebrow and it got sloppy so <laughs> It got sloppy. Moving on to my eye color, I have this Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded. And this is like a light champagne kind of color. And this is so awesome because I feel like I don't need to use an eyeshadow primer with this. And it doesn't crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my lids, my brow bone, in my inner corners, and just all over my lid. And then I'm going to grab this quad from Rimmel London. I'm going to link everything down below so you guys can check it out. But I'm just going to grab one color from that. And it looks like a silver in the video, but or actually in this footage. But it actually is kind of like a darker gray kind of color. So I'm going to apply that first. All right, so now taking my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline, bottom lash line, 
also my top water line too. I'm actually using a lot of the makeup that I purchased recently at Walgreens, so if you guys haven't seen my haul video, you guys should go check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in and line my eyes. I'm gonna apply it liner on my top lash line and I like to use this gel with a brush. So I'm just gonna apply like a thicker lash line on the top. After curling my lashes, I'm gonna grab my clump crusher and this is the mascara that I'm gonna use for my top and bottom lashes. And then after I apply this mascara, I wanna add a few more lashes because I noticed that she loves lashes. So these are some individual lashes I actually picked up from Walgreens. And I'm applying these with the glue that I got from the drugstore from Revlon and Yes, this actually dries clear, which I really like. Uh, it looks blue right now, but it dries clear. All right, so the last step is lips, and I actually grabbed a couple lipsticks here. Um, this one is from Ramel London, Moisture Renew 645 Dusty Rose. I'm gonna apply this first. And then, on top of that, I have a second one. This one is from Wet n Wild, I believe, yes. Wet n Wild, and this one is in Wine Room. So I'm gonna apply that too. And then, <laughs> and then, I'm gonna go ahead and pat my lips off a little bit because in the video it doesn't look like her lips are glossy, they look more matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of take this off a little bit. So there you go, this is the look. I hope you guys like this video and please give this video, oh wait, I'm not allowed to say that anymore. I was about to say, please give this video a thumbs up. I always, I keep filming, like this video, and, and then I'm like, I have to edit that out. Okay, so just subscribe, I can say that. Subscribe for weekly videos. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you guys liked the makeup look. I think this is a pretty, pretty good look. I don't know, I don't know. I can do this, but I can't say it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Oh no. Ooh, didn't break, didn't break. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, it didn't break. And now to the brows. And this, I, I think this helps. I don't know, you can do what you want. <laughs> and then after this, I'm gonna go in and apply my bralette. Blech. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush. And a lot of this makeup I'm using, I actually uh, just got it from Walgreens, so check out my haul video if you guys want to, uh, yeah, check out a haul that I just filmed. That was weird. So I guess apparently it says on the directions to wait 20 seconds, but I guess I, I just don't do that. Um, yeah, I just added a couple lashes on my top. Lashes. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright. Hey guys, so I wanted to film this makeup look because I love the song and I love the video, so I don't know why I'm talking like that. Hey guys, so this is the makeup look. I hope you guys like it and let's see what I'm going to say. I don't think I'm going to film an intro. No. Hey guys, so I hope you liked that video.